another day. A new success story. The success story of Fabrice Grinda. Who is the champion of today's episode of Success Story? Fabrice Grinda is without a doubt one of the most seasoned business owners and investors in the world right now. Having made over 400 startup investments and over 150 exits, Fabrice is undoubtedly the expert on what it takes to create a resilient and profitable startup as well as how to capitalize on one. From $100,000 in debt to hundreds of millions in exits. It is the amazing story of Grinda. Short resume. One of the top investors and internet entrepreneurs in the world is Fabrice Grinda. On 400 angel investments, he had more than 100 exits. Fabrice has an impressive track record as an early investor in Alibaba, Flexport, Zoom Pizza, Delivery Hero, Betterment, and Brightroll. He has served as CEO for three international corporations. With his business partner Jose Marin, Fabrice co-founded the startup studio and venture capital firm FJ Labs, which he presently runs. Prior to founding FJ Labs, Fabrice Grinda served as co-CEO and co-founder of OLX, one of the most popular websites in the world with more than 300 million monthly unique users. Over 3,000 people work for the company, which has operations in 50 countries. OLX is the most popular classifieds website in many growing economies, including Brazil, Portugal, Poland, Ukraine, Russia, and India. Fabrice Grinda formerly served as co-founder and CEO of Zingy, one of the biggest wireless media firms in the Americas, which was before to OLX. In four years, Fabrice successfully increased sales of the company to $200 million. When Fabrice Grinda was 23 years old, he co-founded Auckland and served as its CEO, marking the beginning of his entrepreneurial career. Soon after, Auckland became one of Europe's biggest auction websites. Fabrice Grinda graduated from Princeton University with a BA in economics. In addition to receiving the Wolf Balleisen Memorial Prize for the Finest Thesis and the Halbert White Prize, which is granted to the most brilliant economics student, he graduated from summa cum laude in 1996. First Company Coming from a bourgeois family, Fabrice Grinda was born in 1974 in boulogne billancourt He grew up in Nice where he obtained his baccalaureate before flying to the United States to study economics at Princeton University, New Jersey. While still a student, he created his first company, International Computers, which exported computer equipment from the USA to Europe. In 1996, he graduated top of his class and received the Halbert White 72 Prize awarded to the best student in economics, as well as the Wolf Balleisen, which rewards the best thesis in economics. At 21, he joined the consulting firm McKinsey & Company as a strategy consultant. Auckland.fr Fabrice Grinda wants to start his own business. However, lacking inspiration, he decides to take ideas that work in one country and adapt them to another, a concept he calls international arbitrage of ideas. In 1998 surfing the internet bubble, he returned to France and created Auckland.fr, the first French online auction site, inspired by eBay. The method of copying ideas pays off, the company will have up to 150 employees and will be present in five countries. Unfortunately, the bursting of the internet bubble in 2000 caused Auckland to collapse. Zingy. This failure in no way slows down Fabrice Grinda's entrepreneurial appetites. Indeed, faithful to his concept of international arbitration of ideas, he returned to the USA to develop the market for ringtones for mobile phones. Very lucrative in Europe but not very present in the United States. Fabrice Grinda then founded Zingy, a company specializing in ringtones and wallpapers for mobile phones. The beginnings of the startup are difficult because Zingy struggles to convince American consumers. However, after two years of trial and error and four months of unpaid wages to employees, success is finally at the rendezvous. Three years after its creation, Fabrice Grinda sells Zingy to the Japanese group for side for $80 million. OLX Whatever you dream of doing, start it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic. 
This quote from Goethe is Fabrice Grinda's favorite motto. At the start of 2006, he noticed that the market for free classified ads was not present in certain countries in Latin America, Eastern Europe, or Asia. Fabrice Grinda, a real bulimic entrepreneur, then founded OLX, an internet company that hosts classified ads, published for free by users around the world. In 2010, Fabrice Grinda sold OLX to the South African group Naspers for $250 million. With 270 million connections each month. The success of OLX is indisputable for this company which today has 3,000 employees. Alongside his activities as a business creator, Fabrice Grinda also devotes part of his time to investment. Capable of detecting the potential of a young company. This business angel has invested in more than 245 startups to date, including BlaBlaCar, Airbnb, and Alibaba. Fabrice's success ingredients. 1. Outsource the things you hate to do. He makes use of booking agents, virtual assistants, and other services. He finds ways to have his food prepared because cooking is not his favorite activity. He's not a fan of keeping track of his extremely busy calendar. So he employs a virtual assistant for that. You can outsource more than you think, he says. 2. Pick someone to work with who complements your skill set. His co-worker is exceptional at handling legal paperwork and other such tasks. So Fabrice can concentrate on what he does best evaluate entrepreneurs and their ideas. If you're a manager, this means surrounding yourself with individuals you can trust. So you can delegate. If you're not working with people you can trust, it might be time to find a new career. 3. Schedule your free time. Fabrice claims to arrive home at 8 o'clock. He plans those six hours of non-work time to go to the gym, write a blog article, or spend time with loved ones. He goes to bed at 2 a.m. Most of us arrive at home, prepare supper, and then relax with the kids in front of the TV. The important thing is that scheduling, even shutting out reading or gaming time, prevents free time from turning into idle time spent binge-watching Netflix or lazily scrolling through social media. 4. Live Lighter in the past, Fabrice had a mansion in Bedford in New York, a penthouse apartment in Manhattan, and a luxurious vehicle. Although many professionals may have that as their goal, he discovered that his possessions owned him instead of feeling affluent and grounded. Because he had already paid for the residence, he felt compelled to go there rather than somewhere else, which prevented him from traveling as freely as he would have liked. He eventually donated everything to charity downsized his personal belongings to just 50 items that would fit in a carry-on bag, and spent some time couch-surfing with friends. That was far too tame. He made the decision to finally purchase a completely minimalist flat in New York's Lower East Side, where he keeps very little, even though he has the means to purchase everything he desires. Having less stuff frees up his mind to focus on other things by requiring less mental effort to keep track of.